We're now on to track for heat number 11, and uh, all of the riders in this one, aside from Julien Care, have picked up a few points from their opening two rides, and they're on the bubble, they're there or thereabouts, but a race victory in this one, the 11th race of the day, really would reignite their chances. Across the line for this one, Julien Care off the inside gate. He's failed to score from his two rides so far. He hasn't really been on the pace, uh, just pride to race for now for the Frenchman in his remaining three rides. Gate two in the blue helmet colour is with Ernest Cosa. Two points in each of his opening two outings will he need a race victory in the latter stages of the match to try and help himself through to the under 21 final gate three in the white helmet color is his fellow countryman Damian Drodds three points from his two rides after a single point score last time out and the outside start position is with Paco Castagna a bit of a surprise not to have seen him score big in his opening two rides but this is a race that on paper at least he should be able to win and when you think to his uh, opening two rides he's made two good starts there and he's been overhauled on each occasion both inside start positions and we had said that in the opening two rounds of heat races the trend was towards the outside gates but the last two races have been won from inside start positions so watch out for the inside two gates care and Cosa down to the first turn for heat number 11 as for the pre-race favorite Paco Castagna off the outside gate good start off gate number two from Ernest Cosa and Castagna is going to have to run all the way around the outside but then cutting back coming off turn two is the rider in white Damian Drop who picks it up. Castagna looking for the outside line, running right around and pulling level at the end of lap number one. It's Castagna in a two-way duel with the rider in the white helmet colour, Damian Droz. He's now going to go for the cutback. The Italian lunges down the inside of the pole, determined to make the last entry to the top turn, but it's Droz who'll run back around the outside and the routes around the circuit have now changed with Paco Castagna diving past Droz and sending him sprawling around turns one and two and the rider in the blue helmet colour was almost back in the race for second place. Ernest Cosa watching what is turning into a great duel out in front. Castagna looking over his shoulder into the final lap. He's got a bike's length advantage now over the rider in the white helmet colour, Damian Dross, who's still looking for the inside in Castagna, reaching up to the dirt, coming off turn number two, just about pulls back past. He's going to be bold on the final two turns. He moves off the line once again and holds on in the drag race to the line to take the chequered flag. A brilliant ride from Paco Castagna there. Second place going the, ride, the way of the rider in the white helmet colour, Damian draws and uh, well that's a unique celebration from Paco Castagna and Damian Droz may well not have liked what he saw in that one heat number 11 because Castagna was ruthless and aggressive but that is what you need to be at world level and the Italian has done the job to take a valuable checkered flag a predicted admittedly checkered flag in heat number 11 good ride there from Paco Castagna and probably a candidate for the best race of the day so far as the Italian takes the chequered flag following a four lap duel with Damian Droz. The rider in the blue helmet colour, Ernest Cosa it was, who made the start, but he picked up coming around turns one and two and that enabled Castagna to come around the outside of him. Uh, Droz to make the cut back and come past as well. And Castagna then switched it up to the inside line to make the pass on the pole and come through for the race lead, eventually converting that into the chequered flag. And uh, he doubles his points tally from three to six with that race victory. Second place to Damian Droz who moves on to five. The single point in third for Ernest Cosa, who also moves on to five. Julian Kerr, after losing control on the opening two bends, is still yet to score from his opening three rides, but no doubt picking up valuable experience at Macon this evening.